Uh, this skin in particular, uh, a little tricky because Entropy really liking to go uh, be pink Popo rather than uh, just any other ordinary color where you can tell the difference. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is more of like a mind trick. Or it might just be his favorite costume. Who knows? Yeah, but... Swagwee is a mystery. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay. Nice. Running back and forth, scaring my boy. One of the things that you really can't really underestimate is Entropy's uh, Sopo ability. Yeah, it's pretty uh, good. Pretty consistent, really patient. He knows that one investment is going to... Uh, really going to hurt him, especially in this matchup, uh, mm -hmm. where you can just get up thrown up air. I like Arsenal's poking with the shine. Mm -hmm. I think full like jump in shine is actually super good against ice climbers because it gets a separation and then you can just like jump to a platform if they shield. I feel like that running shine is a real big problem with entropy, especially since uh, Nana. If you don't buffer the shields a few frames before you think he's gonna run up shine, Popo is gonna get still get hit by the shine because she's a few frames before. Uh, or Nana is a few frames before what Popo does. Yeah. So, a little tricky. Uh, you kind of have to have some foresight in what's going to happen, especially in the neutral options. Running Shine is honestly amazing against Ice Climbers because if, you, if you're running Double Shine um, and they try to grab, you obviously get the poke. Mm -hmm. And then if you, like, miss the Double Shine, you can just jump away. And something that's been really good from Entropy in this particular matchup, but... Uh, just his fundamentals in going to pivot desync. Mm -hmm. uh, he just did it right there, but one of the things uh, he's been running away doing pivot and then uh, which desyncs the ice climbers and having Nana do a runaway blizzard. Mm -hmm. And Arsenal's has been hit, getting hit by that consistently, but you're not really seeing any punishes off of it. Yeah, the option of dashing back into blizzard, which will confirm into crab, is pretty nuts. I just think it's a, more of a consistency problem. Ooh. He like always wave dashes down. He needs to call out the tech in place when he down throws more. I also think uh, since Entropy is not really looking that Arsenal's is like mashing when he's getting grabbed, uh, there are parts where Nana's too far away and Nana is trying to walk back to Entropy. It's a separation with back air. Up smash and Nana's still gonna live, but that and, should be it, yep. Okay. Bread and butter, my boy. Uh, there's certain parts where Entropy is just not really waiting for Nana to come back and then try to get the decent grabs. But, yep. I mean, what can you say? Not a lot to do in that situation. Okay. okay. We got a hot pocket combo. Never mind. Ooh. Because I didn't call him by his real name. <laughs> he accidentally did an up B in neutral. Or maybe it's just... Hey, he's got, like, third, fourth dimensional callouts that we're not ready for. Oh. Yep. Dash deck forward smash. I immediately saw a grab, but very, very smart to immediately have a buffered Nana do a tourney winner to fade back to grab the ledge. Yep. And then the down smash. Ice Climber's pretty good at covering options because, you know, there's two of them. And nonetheless, you have to respect Entropy in the tech skill that he's performing with Ice Climbers because it's significantly hard to desync and then put in all of these options. He's a button pressing fiend. Oh. Okay, that. Oh, he ran off the platform. That is so unfortunate. I was playing Hot Pockets and some uh, Entropy and some Friendlies today, and that is a problem he's definitely had us a lot. Mm. Is uh, accidentally running off the platform. Oh. oh my god, he just got caught. That was sick. <laughs> that was so sick. So, I hate it when Justin does this. But. That was pretty dope, though. He did. Pivot, desync, short hop, ice cube into grab, down throw, desync, forward smash. That was, that is a craygasm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Arsenal's mind state, though, uh, we've talked about this earlier. Yeah, I we've, really don't I, think it's a good idea. I mean, it's working, but mm -hmm. I think that's more of just a coincidence. Uh, I saw him at No Fun Allowed do <laughs> this earlier. I think it's also because this is one of his favorite stage or stages. Yeah, I think it's a, I don't think it's a bad stage, but I think they're definitely better. I think, I mean, Wario Land's gonna get banned, and I think Fox is so amazing on Wario Land against Ice Climbers, but I think Battlefield's better. Mm -hmm. um, I think Dreamland's arguably be better. When you, yeah. Why go back to PS2 when you can honestly just go to a counter deck? Yeah. Or, I mean, like, going back to PS2 is not necessarily terrible. It's just like, dude, you got time. You take your time to pull off. <coughs> but Arsenal's playing it pretty consistently. Uh, 
I can understand him not really going and trying to punish the Squall Hammer Rise. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really work that well. Yeah. And it's pretty tricky just to actually punish because the Squall Hammer will clip you and then you'll just fall. Being a fast faller just kind of hurts overall. But Arsenal's is using that anger to focus. <laughs> And he is running through the ice climbers. Arsenal's is a dangerous player when he's angry. Ooh. Oh my god, pointless dash dance, and that's gonna get called out by the the swaggy up air. That's it. And down throw desync forward smash. Very bread and butter for the ice climbers. Ooh. Keeping them separated. I'm surprised that Entropy not really punishing off of the uh the stuck and shine there. Oh, that was a Sick back air. Got a little bit of a separation and just knocked him away. Okay. And I do agree with the fact that he's been doing uh, down tilt more. Uh, mm -hmm. The disjoint from the tail, uh, really good at separating as well because yes. we talked about this earlier, the buffered shield from the ice climbers, uh, it's going to hit Nana and mm -hmm. Nana will be separated off of the down tilt rise. It also clank with down smash a lot of time and it'll reach slightly faster. So you're able to cover the ground a little more. Which is like where Fox honestly like struggles the most in the matchup is that Ice Climbers are a little better at covering the ground a lot of the time. Now, one of the things... Oh... Forward Smash? Jab? No. That that was a perfect setup for a pivot jab reset. And that would have been sick. He would have gotten the grab and gotten the full punish. It would have been pretty dope. Okay. Swag we combo. Forward and Smashing is the, is, the, is the entropy. He admitted that. Honestly, watching Ice Climbers play is pretty sick. <laughs> it is when they're not forward tilting you and jabbing, pummeling you at 200 BPM. <laughs> Indeed. Ooh. I think he was looking for the ledge dash, but either way, it was going to be invisible and the jab wasn't going to hit. Okay. This is looking a lot like their first game where Hot Pockets brought it to almost, brought it to, well, he brought it to last dog and then had a sick Hot Pocket combo. Mm -hmm. Oh. And that's oh one of the my things God. that you're going to see uh, Ice Climbers that's super tricky in PM rather than Melee is the fact that Nana's AI on recovery towards the edge will always try to up B and recover by yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, while in Melee... Oh. Oh my God. That was... He went for it all there. That and was almost just Arsenal's killed himself. And I'm with you, Captain Birdman. He... That was a sick, sick Ice Cube. <laughs> that was pretty dope. That... I mean... Could have been it. Box. Although, but if, uh, yeah, that was rough. This would be a really good win for Entropy if he pulled this off. It and would be. He has shown the prowess, the tech skill, and uh, just the ability to just to overall win in neutral. Uh, his conversions have been solid with down throw, desync, uh, d down air. Mm -hmm. At such a tight frame, especially since Fox is a fast baller. Oh uh, yeah. Very good. He Pretty nice. He realized at the beginning of his game, he did up throw, uh, didn't really get the conversion, so just started opting out for more down throw desyncs rather than up throw. Mm -hmm. um, but the up air and the up tilt, one of the things that I think Arsenal's really needs to watch out for, especially um, with pivot desync, blizzard, and dash attack. I imagine FD and Fountain got banned. Um, I think that was pretty good. I think. FD always gets you to get banned, and then it's a matter of preference on whether or not you ban Fountain or Green Hill. Um, but I think Green Hill's amazing for Ice Climbers. Ooh. Not a lot of room for Fox turn around, and uh, Flat Ground is pretty good for the Ice Climbers. And what's super interesting about Ice Climbers uh, is that once you're in Sopo, one of the things that you really need to start forcing and what your game plan needs to be is going for the down throw uh, tech chases. Yeah. On fast fallers at low percents, you can just up their dash stack mm -hmm. and then re-grab a lot of the time. But uh, down throw tech chases, you can also mix in back throw because mm -hmm. back throw is really low end lag, so you can honestly get a follow up a lot of the time on it. Uh, one of the things, especially super tricky, around 50-60% with uh, Popo, you can go for the up throw, uh, up air, down air. Mm -hmm. uh, which very tricky, especially with how fast down air comes yeah. out. Yeah, up air has the, the reason that works so well is because up air has really low end lag and down air has really low startup. Mm -hmm. So yeah, down air comes out like frame three. Down air comes out yeah frame three. Ooh. Although it's not that good out of shield because it doesn't really reach that far horizontal. And entropy playing pretty sick. Uh, some of the conversions that I would really like to see though is jab reset. He's followed. 
uh, arsenals on a, a multitude of these tech chases, but hasn't been getting the jab reset. Ooh, he on barely missed space it. He got the dash chance to bait out the shine, but he just doesn't go for the grab. He like he whiffed the grab because the being spaced improperly. And something, a beautiful option that we're <laughs> Nana got so lost. <laughs> a beautiful option that we're we are seeing from Ooh. arsenals though is immediately. Uh, Tech and play shine. One of the things that I don't think that Entropy is really falling or really having a good time dealing with. Yeah. Uh, because he wants you in the face so he can do a grab, but the fact is that wake up shine is just going to push you away and separate you depending on where the other eyes come I mean, are. he's been baiting it out a lot of the time, but then he's just like missed space. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think he's aware of it. It's just like execution at that point. And Arsenal's uh, trying to hide under the platform. Uh, really curious what the game plan would be. I don't know if he's trying to really, per se, camp under it. I mean, it's safe to do that. Yeah. I think it's really good because then Ice Climbers can't fall right on top of you. And Invincible Ice Climbers um, are pretty good. I think one of the other reasons why he wanted to go under the platform specifically for that is that for these desyncs, if he wants to opt for a down throw or up throw on miss, it's just going to immediately send him on platform. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. Trying to risk the option... Uh, Trying to see if Entropy is really going to cover it. Okay, Downer's out of it. Oh, oh, he went for an immediate down smash. I'm actually kind of surprised that it. Oh my God, the pivot grab! He, there are so many opportunities where he could be going for something like jab reset and then immediately getting the grab off of that or buffering and covering the option. And then Nana just, I mean, hot pockets come. Entropy comes up and hits him with the up air. Ah! Beautiful, beautiful punish. Soft narrow up smash is a, mm. a lit fox combo. <laughs> Oh, so we saw that up air down air combo. Uh, not really the best situation to do it. Um, really gonna do it when they're above you, not really under. Oh, that back air getting the soft hit in front and the hard hit in back. The That's perfect the separation. Separate oh, and Nana with the sick ice block. Okay, he's trying to risk it so Nana can get back on stage. And we were saying that earlier. Okay. That down tilt was really helping. And this could be yeah. Entropy's win. Arsenal's di in. But not if that happens. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got a tech chase. Oh, here we go. And this is what we are saying. The game plan before is just to switch and go for these down throw tech chases. And Entropy been showing pretty consistent. Ooh. Oh. Oh, my God. He could have up smashed again in combo. Oh, my God. The up tilt. And he just, like, slid these through These are it. sick options that are oh coming out from Entropy. What's happening? Okay, back air. Oh, me back on, it's done. Oh my god, great that's DI. crazy DI. Okay, wave land. Okay, crouch cancel, down smash, going for it. Covering the ledge, oh, down smash. Is that it? If oh he my gets god. one back air, he gets it. Oh, oh my he... god, that was such a good recovery. Oh, catching the roll. <laughs> oh my god, Justin's so scared. So it was hot back. Oh, oh my god. And the mistake that came out in that particular set is Entropy was opting for wave dash uh, jab so he could catch him when honestly he could have gone for, uh, he could have baited out with movement to keep Arsenal's in track and then go for the down smash. Justin. Ah! Justin. <laughs> When you got hit by that ice block at the almost the end of game two, I was like, I was like, it's over. Dude. I would have been tilted. I would have been. Mario. Oh, that set was Swag. so good. Swag, we playing out of his mind today. <laughs> yeah, he. Yes. Was that? Are you in losers now? He has Swag, we playing out of his mind. Oh today. my dog. <laughs> oh, okay. So this was being talked about on Facebook, uh, the Wonder Leg matchup. So Leg, glad he made it out of pools. Um, really proficient in the Ike Fox matchup, him being Ike. He is, although Wonder's playing El Mario today. Oh yeah, that is true. Nonetheless, Ike handles that matchup quite quite well. He does, big sword and Mario is a small boy. Yeah, <laughs> we talked about this, we talked about this earlier. Yeah, and Mario, like the thing about him, like he can narrative combos a lot of the time, although you really can't, Nair out of Ike's up there.